Wagwan, you know, this is your girl, the official Miss Jamaica, coming to you today with another hot topic. That's what I call it, hot topic, okay? But first of all, make sure you like this video. I love the views, but make sure you go like and go ahead and subscribe. Follow us on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, you name it. And check out Boss Talk Podcast 101. That's where you'll see me all the time on that show, okay? If you don't already know. But um, today, and comment. I need to know what y'all thinking about what I'm saying, okay? But what I want to talk about today, okay, if y'all haven't watched Boss Talk Podcast 101, you might not know this, okay? But if you do, you know this is exactly what I do at the beginning of every show, okay? I believe that anybody who sits in the seat that we interview, um, I'd like to know your background because each individual, including myself, I believe that our upbringing, who we are today, stems from the first few years of our upbringing. At, once we started understanding, not a baby baby, okay? But once you started understanding what's going on around you, which is, you know, even before 10, 8, 5, 6, 7, things like that, once you can remember back to that, those stages, I've met so many people who have been raised by single mothers, who fathers left or passed away or abusive relationships was in their families. They witnessed all of that. And I believe that those are traumas and there's no trauma greater than the other, okay? And I'm gonna explain that. And when I say that, just like people say there's no sin greater than the other, meaning I may have went through a trauma where my mom might have spoken terribly to me and it affected me. But my friend over here got raped by her father. Okay, some would say that's way worse than what had happened to me. But in my mind, because of the way in which my mother spoke to me, it unraveled where I felt like I was unworthy, like I'm nothing. I may not say it, but subconsciously, these things are in your mind. So every time whenever you are mistreated by someone else, you feel like you deserve it. Because if my mother did that to me, that means anybody else can so and so forth and people who have been abused feel like well if my father did this to me that's the reason why i'm always in these terrible relationships because i'm still looking for certain type of relationships and so forth so that's the reason why i'm like it's very important that people know that the people that they are today stems back from their childhood and sometimes those traumas go for years and we not really look back on our lives and realize that, oh, it don't bother me. Oh, my dad wasn't there. I don't care. I didn't need him anyway. The streets adopted me. Yeah, but in the back of your head, it affected you. Whether you want to admit it to me, you can go sit down and admit it to yourself. But I want people to, to receive healing to really sit down and analyze their life as in why they think the way they do, why they react the way they do. There's always a madness to all of that, whether you believe it or not. Don't just think that, oh, the person in front of you is getting on top of your nerves. That's the reason why I lashed out, okay? But that person can be that way with somebody else and they don't get that same response, okay? So there's a reason why we act the way we do. There's a reason why we say what we say. So if there's something that causing you to always not be able to have a secure relationship, and when I say relationship, it could be friendship. It can be a boyfriend. It can be a husband, a wife. It can be anything when I say a relationship. Why you can't maintain a loving relationship. Maybe you need to look on yourself. You need to try to heal yourself instead of always pointing the fingers. I know those people that when you talk to them, and everybody can relate to this because everybody knows somebody that whenever they talk to this person, they always pointing the finger at everybody else. Oh, that's the reason why it's because this person is because that person is because this person I never really look back and be like, well, I could have, I could have, I could have really responded better. I didn't have to say that. I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to think that. I overthought that. That's not really why they did what they did. I was just overthinking it. I presumed them guilty 
when they weren't even guilty. Um, because I have trust issues because of things that I saw my mama did when she was younger and I didn't, and she wasn't being faithful to my father who was working every day, was doing this every day, but she was out here doing whatever and she didn't need to do all of that. But I saw that. So because I saw that I don't trust any woman being a man, I'm talking from a male perspective now. Okay. So all these different things, that's what, and I'm talking in a general case. So we all have to know that when we're in relationships with people or friendships with people, when people do things that you don't like, first of all, make sure you're receiving it properly. I spoke in a previous in um, clip that I did before. Y'all need to go back and check that out about communication. Um, is the fact that you have to make sure you're perceiving whatever somebody's putting down properly. You have to stop yourself and say, hey, how did you, this is what I received from what you just said. Is that what you meant? And if they meant it disrespectful now, then you can go ahead and address it, okay? But if they did not mean it in that way, that could help a lot of blue that could come later on where you're going to be like, oh, da 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 and be arguing with somebody when they didn't really mean it that way and cause something out, blow it out of proportion, okay? First of all, always practice that. Did you mean it that way? This is how I received it, that line of communication. And then from there on, you know how to respond to something or someone. But going back to reflection, that's what all this is about, reflection. Reflecting back on your life. Each and every one need to always sit down and take time for yourself in a secure space, in your safe space, whether it be your, your bathroom. A lot of people do it in their bathroom when they're taking a shower. Me, I love to do what I'm driving by myself. Don't have the radio on, just sit down and chilling and, and, and really just meditating and thinking about my life. Looking back on my life, looking on my present life and figuring out, okay, how can I make myself better? Nobody's perfect under the sun, so don't think that you're perfect because I sure know I'm not perfect. But what I'm saying is that you, every day we have to reflect on ourselves it's called self-improvement, okay? And figure out, okay, I could have handled this better or I could have said this better or I could have gained more knowledge instead of wasting time scrolling through Facebook, Instagram, or whatever or watching TV for hours. And what did I get from watching TV for hours? Yes, I was relaxed, but how could I gain some knowledge? Okay, that's, that's my forte right now is, and I'm trying to get better at it, okay, is I tend to scroll through Instagram, Facebook, and yeah, I'm looking at stuff that I could talk about or stuff that I could use in the show or whatever, relevant topics. So I'm using it to, towards my business, yes, but some of it is for personal gain as well. But a lot of times I'm like, okay, how can I go, I need to go read a book. I need to learn something more. Or let me go YouTube and do some more research about my craft. And, figure, and learn something I didn't know before and put it into my practice. You see what I mean? So whatever your forte is, it might not even be for your job. It might be for your life. YouTube is the biggest university out there. So you can't say you didn't know or you can't find out. Go on YouTube and use the tools that we have in today's society. Go and research. If you're having a terrible relationship, go figure out, okay, um, if you don't want to go see a counselor, you have so many different people talking about certain things on social on um, YouTube uh, that are positive. Look up counseling sessions on YouTube. You'll hear different perspectives. You will hear counselors talking to you. I mean, all sorts of stuff. You have to read through it. You can't just take everything you, you hear. And don't be that person that just look for the things that they want to hear and say, yeah, I saw that. I did do my research and I saw that just because that's what you you really want to hear and you don't want to fight your demons. You don't want to really hear what is the truth. You want to hear what is your truth, but you don't want to hear the, the real truth. Okay. So be truthful to yourself. That's why I said, do this by yourself. So the only person you're going to be fooling is you. So please self meditation every day, looking back on the past. Some people want to forget the past, but you have to look back on the past and, and check, make sure, okay, yeah, I overcame that. That's not bothering me no more. And don't just say I, I forgave and it's in the past. Okay, 
does that still affect me? Really? Does that really affect me? How do I react because of this? And if you react in a negative way because of it, yes, yeah, it still affects you. You need to go ahead and address it here. Okay? And then move that up to the present. Okay, look at your actions. Look at what you look at your eating habits. Your eating habits can come from in the past too. From your parents, from from trauma, can from anything. You wonder why you keep eating all the time. You know, why are you over obsessive in working out? What is it? Somebody when you were younger used to tell you that you was always fat, that you never gonna be nothing, whatever. Why are you so over obsessive with anything? Balance is key. Okay, I have another video coming soon about balance, all right? So y'all got to stay tuned because balance is key. And that's something I'm battling with. I'm learnt, trying to figure out balance. Okay, so we might can figure that out together. But anyway, thank you for listening. Um, most of the time, my, my um, rants are going to be about 10 minutes long because I know everybody have a short attention span. But definitely, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on all social media platforms. And definitely, so the official Miss Jamaica everywhere, okay? But definitely, comment please. I've been getting a few comments and I've been loving the ones that I'm getting. But I would love to see some more. Thank you very much and stay blessed. We love you. I love you.